demons can sometimes use objects as conduits to achieve their desired goal. Their desired goal? Our souls, John. First of all, the doll is terrifying. There are so many little details, like the little, the little lines under the mouth and stuff. How many versions of the doll did you guys have to go through before you kind of got the right look that you wanted. Well, we, we actually had three and a half versions, I guess you could call it. <laughs> but basically it was, you know, we, we end with the doll that was, you know, in the conjuring. So we had to back up from there. And, and work backwards. And, and yeah. work backwards. Yeah. And through the movie, organically and story-wise, I wanted to start with a pristine sort of porcelain-faced, but still freaking creepy, you know, doll. Uh, version of, of Annabelle, and um, and then as as the story goes along, there's there's you know ameliorations that are are uh, just changing her eyes, mm -hmm. then dirtying her up, ultimately having to put the cracks on her, and and mm -hmm. or, you know it, I'm, I don't want to talk about too much about all that because I don't want to give away the movie, sure. but um, for for example, one thing that I think is really cool that I love is that only for one scene uh, are created the demon eyes for the doll. And there's one scene in the movie where they're there, and I wanted, and I would only wanted to use them for that. I, you know, there, I, God, it would have been cool to use them sooner, but, but <laughs> we had to wait. You know, anyway. But. Are you talking about the scene in the car? Mm -hmm. That yeah, that was Got pretty it. good. Yeah. Got it. Um, well, so one of my favorite killer doll sort of uh, films or TV shows is um, Talkie Tina, hmm. the Twilight Zone episode. Oh. And interesting, the, the doll in this is so still. It's not at all like a Chucky movie or anything. You know, there's not a lot of running around and stuff. Were you influenced by that at all? Did that ever occur to you? Because the doll is very, like, in that is very still. It, you well, don't really see it I would it say doing that was our philosophy. Even yeah. before the Annabelle movie, yeah. all the way back to The Conjuring, um, I don't make killer doll movies. Like, I, I don't know if people know the difference between, uh, you know, psychological ventriloquist puppet right ventriloquism and uh and killer doll films right mm -hmm. um i'm a big fan of child's play i love chucky but i don't mm -hmm. think annabelle lives in that world annabelle doesn't li annabelle lives more in the psychological ventriloquism world and uh and definitely for um um when i created annabelle for the conjuring um i i took what was initially um the initial doll that it was based on um and made it my own i mean i couldn't use it I couldn't use the real thing because you know, with all these legal reasons attached to it. And so when I could it, um, could design mine from scratch, I have an uh, an affection for ventriloquist puppets, and so that's what Annabelle became. And um, and I think um, what makes ventriloquist puppets creepy and scary is not the fact that they chase you with knives in their hands and stuff like that. It, it's the fact that they just they, all they have to do is just sit there on the chair, and you walk by it at night to go get a drink. And you think to yourself, did that thing just look at me? Did yeah. his eyes just follow me? And that's all it takes. And that's the kind of psychological sort of um, um, horror that I uh, wanted to play with in The Conjuring and that John continued in Annabelle. Want to watch the latest HitFix videos on your TV? Download the new HitFix Roku app and get all your favorite HitFix videos in one place.